It's been far too long since these pews have been filled with faithful worshipers of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it sure looks like it's going to be a little while before they're filled again. And it hurts my heart. Doxology, brethren, I'm Pastor Nathan Metter, Senior Pastor at St. John Lutheran in Plymouth, Wisconsin, and Doxology Stewardship Presenter. And I have a word of encouragement for you today. It's a word of encouragement surrounding our stewardship, not of the Word, but our stewardship of words. And this all hinges around two distinct topics, crisis and challenge. A crisis happens when we forget who we are and forget our moorings, and we're seeing that play out in our world today. As the news media reports raw data and as we look to science and medicine to come up with solutions that seem to be months, if not years, off, and it causes all kinds of consternation, that's a crisis because we have a group of people in our society that seem to have lost their bearings and lost their way. But that's not how it is in the church. No, We're facing a challenge. Of that, there is no doubt. A challenge unlike anyone in our generation has ever seen. And yet, we've met that challenge as we're stewards, not only of the word of life, but of the good resources and gifts that our Lord has provided. It's amazing to see the response to that challenge in the last few weeks. How we've seamlessly transitioned from a word and sacrament ministry based in facilities like this to a word ministry using modern technology with terms like Facebook Live and Zoom and live streaming and so many other platforms. We've pivoted almost on a dime to continue our message of proclaiming Christ and Him crucified. In some areas, we've even met the challenge in in these safer at home areas where we've been able to have small groups gather around word and sacrament and receive Christ who comes to them in body and blood. In other areas, by law or by choice, congregations have chosen to fast from this precious gift. Either way, we've met the challenge head on, and it's because we know who we are and what God has called us to do. We hear the voice of the shepherd. That's what sheepdogs do. And we have, as best possible, herded the sheep entrusted to our care. That's how we meet this challenge. Brothers, as we've gotten so busy, it's important for us to take time to listen to the shepherd. Knowing who we are and what he's called us to do will equip us to meet this challenge. It's also important, too, as we deal with the financial ramifications of this in stewardship. It's very easy for us and our lay leaders to slip into the realm of crisis, forgetting that we are under God's providential care as we worry about how to pay the bills and and continue to do ministry. But we're not in crisis even there. Our Lord has presented us with a challenge. A challenge moving us from what we know to provide answers for what we don't know. Just as the church has responded through technology, so are individual sheep in their call to be stewards of their resources for the sake of the gospel. They too have met and exceeded the challenge. As we are stewards of the word and the sacrament where available, God's faithful sheep, hearing that voice of the shepherd through their sheepdog, they too have responded. And when, when stewards of the words that we choose frame this in terms of challenge rather than crisis, God's people have responded. Brothers, give your people the opportunity to meet the challenge. Choose your words wisely. Not crisis, but challenge. Knowing that who we are and what God has given us to do will lead us to the solutions for today and, Lord willing, that we might be even stronger when these pews are filled again. Brothers, know 
that we at Doxology are praying for you. You are facing this challenge faithfully. Take that moment for yourself and those you lead to hear the voice of the shepherd and then as his faithful sheepdog, serve your sheep as stewards of your words and of his. God bless you.